All right, friends. Because I love goblins and bonkin face, I had to try out the new goblin commander, Krenko Baron of the Ten Street. But here's a warning for you. Do not waste your wild cards on this commander. I had the worst time trying to make them work. I got paired against Thassa, the Panzalata, whatever, Discover Dinosaurs, um, Narset, the one that cheats out spells for free, extra turn shenanigans, just everything in the book that was just the miserable hell cue that is Historic Brawl right now could not do anything got really lucky with one win so I played a ton of games with this commander I unfortunately didn't record the other two wins that I had when I was testing out this game or this deck because I was testing out the deck and I was just like oh I wasn't ready to record yet but when I went to record I only won one out of like I want to say like 15 matches that I played and so that's the first game you'll see and then the other games I have are losses but at least showed a little bit of what the deck was trying to do so hopefully it's still enjoyable to watch but I just wanted to really demonstrate how difficult of a commander it is to make work if you were trying to do a build around it so on that note if there are cards or synergies that you think would help make this commander easier to survive with uh, please feel free to drop a comment and let me know because holy heck was this a hard one to make work at all I was exasperated by the end of this I tell you what but again I still hope you enjoy the gameplay because overall we did get to see some cool synergies that might give you some ideas if you were to build this out in paper because I think this is a good paper commander if you're going to play EDH so on that note let's go check out the deck tech and I will see you in a second all right friends here is who we were rocking Krenko Baranov the 10 street their three cmc have haste and you can tap them to sacrifice an artifact put a plus one plus one counter on each goblin you control then whenever an artifact is put into the graveyard from the battlefield you can pay a red and if you do you create a one one goblin creature token it gains haste until end of turn so for historic brawl this was really really difficult to get any win because you needed to be able to kind of with goblins you want to win really fast early game because there's so many commanders that have like draw a thousand cards, cascade, etc. That if you're in a 1v1 format, it's really hard to keep your board state intact long enough because one board wipe, you're pretty much just out of the game because you fall back so much in your value that if you don't have a commander that's just making tokens really quickly or, you know, like Squee at least comes in and makes a token and has haste, but like, the other Krinkos and, you know, like Monks or any, what's his name? Muxus uh, is able to just generate a lot of value really quickly, which allows you to keep up with those more difficult commanders. But in this case, we just couldn't do it. Like we had to be able to make a treasure, make a token to put in our Krenko, who then has to be tapped to put on counters for the rest of your board, which makes it hard because then Krenko gets big, but then you can't even attack with Krenko unless you have a way to untap them. And pretty much the only way that we had to really keep untapping them consistently was using Sting. But then what kind of tutor effects do we have? Well, we have tutor effects for artifacts that put them in graveyards, but then we are playing mono red. So it's kind of hard to get them out of the graveyard in historic brawl consistently. And we have gamble, which, you know, you might just end up throwing away the card that you tried tutoring for. So it's really, really hard to just make this work. Where I had some success was having Pashik Mons out, where basically if we had like a damage doubler or, you know, something that added extra damage to what our red cards were trying to do. When our stuff died, it helped at least shoot down what our opponents had or maybe try to do enough damage to finish them off. But as you'll see in these games, I get really, really close quite a few times and then we just lose. So that's kind of like what I had overall, some stuff to help slow down our opponents and, you know, things to add a lot of value quickly to the board or even some way to try to close out the game. I threw in Necroma's Memorial, just hoping maybe I could have something to add more evasion to our stuff, but I didn't get a chance to actually play with it. So this was kind of the final version that I landed on that ended up did getting a couple of wins, but I only was able to record one of them for you. So that is what you'll be seeing here shortly. So with no further ado, save your wild cards and let's go check out this gameplay. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, we'll keep at this point, nothing matters. All right, I'll do uh, this nerd next. Oop. Oop. Okay, I 
mechanized warfare could be good to get in early. Oh god, we're playing against Jota. I should just stop looking at commanders. This is the Cascade one. I'm gonna, like, depress myself. <laughs> Yoda has entered the chat. Oh god. Just have to keep trying to go wide, I think. Oh my god, our first win! Oh, GG's. Let's see if this can turn the tides. Will we have any luck? Our goblin friend. Like ye old sticky fingers. Okay, let's go. Time to funk. Yeah. And then we'll put in our commanda. Or do you want to do relic robber? Relic robber is fun. I actually might just do relic robber. Or this is also fun. Maybe I'll do that. Let's just fight. JK, we have to blow up that dude. We'll keep our friend alive. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, is a deep subject. Um, let's do Relic Robber, because I feel like being a troll. Let's have you attack you, and you attack you. Bloop, bloop. Make a treasure. Just like all of you. And then we'll put it in Krenko, so yeah, we can get our little buddies bigger. Okay, so Krenko... Uh, and then we will go to combat. Chow. Chow. Discourage them from blocking if possible. Nope, still doing it. Boom. Okay. And then that's when we want our Legion War boss in. Hopefully we punch them in the face before the board wipe happens. Even up their blocks. Seems smart. Yep. And we'll go to Wombat. And we'll attack here and here and here. Okay. Wanted to get that main damage in. Need that uh artifact that like untaps stuff. That'd be super sweet. Okay. There's their commander. I think the smart thing is going to be putting in this uh, guy, so if any of our stuff dies, we can kind of punish them for it. Okay, doing that. Uh, decline, because we need that treasure. And we'll go ahead and attack here, attack here, and... Does that make sense to do? Probably not, because we're going to lose our thing. But we're building up for the next board state, I think. <laughs> yeah, we make our other treasure. Sweet. Um, let's do it to their face. Sweet. Look at this synergy. 
Look at that synergy. Going for bonks back. We had trample. No trample. Um, that seems pretty good. Has lifelink too. Uh, no blocks. Oop. Ouchies. Okay. Let's put this friend in. Draw a card. Sweet. Land drop. Um, so we go to combat. They're already at 20 life. Dang. Okay. Here I was thinking we had hope this time. Um, let's sack you. Out of pick. Let's put in Goblin Matron. We're gonna try to get the, uh... Monxus and just try to go wide, I think. And I might just... Oh. And we'll just attack with that friend. Okay. To the face. Our swan song. Cause it's got trample. that thing's gonna just we don't have enough to block them we'd have to throw our whole board in front of it and they could just attack with like the other two things To death. I mean, I could have given it haste and then made a bunch of goblins, but once again, it doesn't matter. Example. Exhibit A. Does not matter. Alright. GG's. Alright, friends. Hmm. We're playing against Narset. So this is gonna be a little tough. We want a more spicy punchy deck out of the out of the gate. Where are our goblins? There's our goblins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is just so good. Clamor Shaman helps with keeping stuff from being blocked, but I don't know. I'm thinking right now we're just gonna wanna start off with uh, some space. The Sting Glinting Dagger is so good, because, like, at the beginning of combat, you untap stuff, so you can untap tap. The only thing is we don't have another artifact to get all the stonks from. And the dagger, hopefully don't get blowed up. 
go attack. Bonk. And then we'll get our commander in. And the fun part is we want to be punchy fast. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we got our artifact maker going. Which is what we really need. I'm kind of expecting our uh, Maga here, Mag Magda, Brazen Outlaw, to eat some of the potential removal that will be coming up. They usually get blown up right away, which is why sometimes I don't bother adding them to decks because I'm just like, I don't know, it just gets frustrating. Gold seal, okay. So this is, oh, I thought this was uh, the other nurse set. Whenever they attack, exile top four cards of your library. Okay, so this is like the real broken one. Ooh, rough. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and attack. Oop, oop. And I don't think it hurts to necessarily put this on our little street kinfin right now. Just want to make sure we don't lose to a board wipe here, too. Yeah, and our set's brutal to deal with. Especially once, like, they hit into, like, omniscience or something, and we don't really have a way to, like, blow them up right now, either. Nice. I know Krenko's just gonna get blown up. Or countered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and attack. And then let's see if we gamble. We have a 50% chance of throwing away the thing that we actually want. Uh, let's do Blood Moon. No! <laughs> This is why Gamble sucks. I wish I had one that showed like dead inside or something. I'm just punching. Might have been a mistake, but kind of feel like it's GG's regardless, you know? But I should have moved the Sting over to Krenko, because that is how we do the thing we want to do. Can we Goblin Bonk? Or are we going to die? the den of the bugbear. Ooh. They're debating about that board wipe. <gasps> Can we do it? Oh my god. Please, 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 please. please. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. Um. Okay. 
Whew. Think we save them? Oh god. Did we save them? <gasps> oh god. Okay, I don't know if we're alive for another turn, but Whew. Oof. This is so close. Oh, and they have an extra turn spell. Never mind, it's not close at all. You know, if we lose to extra turn stuff, can't be too sad about that. They had to go hard on our goblins. Arena matching us against, like, <laughs> this is so stupid, the GGs. All right, friends, hope you had fun watching. Uh, let me know if videos like this are interesting to you in the future, just because I don't want to always just post decks that, you know, have wins or show, like, even with the jankiness that are, like, kind of cards that are just for memes, uh, you know, like those decks. I was like kind of highlighting at least a few wins here and there, but this was literally a deck I just could not win with. So again, if you have ideas, let me know. If you enjoy videos like this where you can see like things that feel like they're kind of just being printed for a commander nowadays, paper commander with four players, let me know if this is interesting to you. Again, I would highly advise not using your wild cards to focus with Krinko as your main commander. There are so many better, like, you know, goblin commanders anyways. It would just make more sense to go with literally any other... Cannot think of it. Like, any other commander. I would run this for over them, like, in Arena. So, uh, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good one. Bye.